okay, indexing. So the, yeah, okay. So the indexing structure in uh, Cosmos DB is very different to uh, anyone that's familiar with B trees. Uh, this is a, a logical indexing uh, representation here. This is not physically how it's done. So you can bear that in mind. So for each document you're going to store, it gets broken down into a document tree. Uh, it's a rootless node, and for all the attributes in your tree, they're in the intermediate sections. And then at the leaf level is your values. <coughs> okay? So this is the logical tree representation, representation of this JSON document. This is the logical tree representation of this document. Does that make sense? So we see there that actually the, the structure of the data, i.e. the JSON attributes and the values are all stored logically in one construct. This is very different to B tree indexing, where the structure of the data is defined and hardened as metadata, and it's only the values that are indexed. Yeah? So that's the logical structure of. Uh, each document in turn in isolation, but it goes a little bit further, and those logical structures are merged into one tree that represents all the documents, all the attributes, all the values. So this is the logical tree that represents the data in your partition and each replica set, such so replicate across all the Google. Now. The beauty of this is, because we've put our attributes and our values into one indexing construct, we can have flexible schema. We don't, we're not confined, whereas in B-trees, we put the structure of the data hardened into the definition of the index, so we can't change it afterwards. When you put the structure of the data into the index, it becomes very flexible. So when you want to add new attributes to your JSON structure, it's just a new branch that's added into the tree. Okay. 